Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. So I want to come on here and talk about this crazy case. And once again, it's coming from our third favorite state, crazy-ass California. So what's going on now in crazy California, you ask? What's going on is that we have a young woman, and basically she went into a barber shop to go get a haircut. She wanted her hair cut like Rihanna. And the barber did the damn thing, hooked her up. She was super happy. She ended up tipping the barber a $20 tip. She left happy. She went on about her business, only to later come back to the shop later on that day with a huge bald spot in the side of her head and a gun in her hand. And she attempted to shoot the barber not once but three times. But by the grace of God, the gun jammed. This entire situation is crazy as hell. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. And now to new details on the haircut that has a local woman in jail on attempted murder charges. 10 News reporter Emily Valdez is live in North Park. And Emily, this case is as weird as it gets. Oh, yeah. So... Barbara's told me that she loved her haircut at first, but then when she left, she went outside. She started shaving her own head with the disposable razor. Then she went back in and tried to murder them. That was crazy. Ooh. I was like, man. 619 Barbershop has been in business 20 plus years. Uh, here in North Park, and we never had any incident like that. Wednesday morning in the heart of North Park, a woman walks in and asks for a haircut. Chris Tatum says a barber named Manny cut her hair. When she came in, she seemed to be a very pleasant young lady. Kind of like the Rihanna haircut. A mohawk decides not all the way shaved. Easy haircut to do, to be honest. Barber Joe Cooper did not see it, but he heard all about it. He says at first the woman loved the haircut. She actually tipped him an extra 20 bucks. Apparently she left, went down and sat in front of the shop in her vehicle for about 30 minutes or so. They say she gave herself a more dramatic look. They found razors inside of a vehicle. She had shaved, shaved her hair. Tatum says she came back mad about her hair. And as she was walking in the back, she was fumbling in person. Once she got back to the back, she pulled the gun out and tried to pull the, the trigger three times. The gun didn't fire. Grabbed her, grabbed the gun. We threw her to, a, threw her to the ground and held her until the authorities, uh, until the authorities came. You know, it's about the grace of God that we, we still here. She probably just having a bad day. It was more mental with her. But the haircut, it's a very stylish haircut, though. Police say the gun was loaded. That woman has been identified as 29-year-old Adrian Swain. She is in jail right now, facing a charge of attempted murder. I'm live in North Park. Emily Valdez. The barber who cut you. Swain's hair spoke only to Fox 5 this afternoon, and this is what he had to say. She messed it up with some stray racers in her car. She... She erased everything I did, messed it up with her razor, took it all off, and then she came in and said, look what you did to my hair. You know, I think I, think I was mad. I think I was mad, and that's pretty much I just it. watched the news clip, and when I tell you Manny Montero, that barber, he definitely had angels and God watching over him because for him to survive that, it definitely means that it was not his time. You know, I'm to the point where I'm convinced mental illness is literally running rampant in our community. You know, this makes no sense. Obviously, this woman was very, very happy with her haircut because not only did she leave satisfied, but she also gave him a $20 tip on top of the $20 haircut. But for her to come back with bald patches where she had shaved her own head, you know, just says that she might have been having a mental breakdown and then her yelling for the other barber to kill her now and to not, you know, take her to jail to just kill her. This is really, really sad and scary. Scary, that you have a lot of regular everyday people whose lives are being put on the line behind a bunch of mess. I just did a video earlier today talking about the situation in Tennessee where that store owner was killed over a hair weed. You know, a lot of folks are just getting crazy and crazy and it's going to be to the point where a lot of people are not going to want to work in customer service jobs that deal with dealing with the public because you have a lot of crazy people out here. You know, it's going to be in a, in a minute you're going to have a lot of folks who are going to be putting metal detectors and searching people before they go into their store, before they come to get a haircut 
haircut before they come to get their hair done because a lot of people out here are just getting crazier and crazier by the day. Because you have a lot of folks right now who have access to people and it's really, really sad that a barber's life could be at risk over something as stupid as a Rihanna haircut. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, honey. Once again, coming from our third favorite state, crazy ass California. And if you have not already, don't forget to share my videos, rate, comment, and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.